Hi everyone, here is uh, today's update on the uh, bucking field reluctance motor. Um, yesterday the video I made uh, has some errors in it and it's related to my uh, probes uh, position. Uh, as I said, this is a, um, first of all, a 0 0.1 ohm current sensing resistor. This probe is set to X1 and this is my voltage probe. It is uh, set to uh, X10. And the problem was, is actually in the menu here, I had them reverse. So my voltage was set to X1 and this was set to uh, X10. So I fixed that. They are now in correct uh, settings. And this is the new waveform that we have today. And as you can see, it's perfectly flat uh, throughout. And the other problem was, is the power supply that I was using is this one here. And uh, it's limited uh, to current and it's three amps uh, current limitation. So now I've moved on to um, my variac through a uh, step-down transformer to uh, be able to tune an accurate low voltage. And I have a 100 microfarad uh, capacitor here as a uh, storage tank, which is now feeding through my meters. So we're using uh, 10 volts uh, pretty well throughout uh, this test. And uh, we have the fluctuation there happening. Uh, but um, it's in the range of uh, around 150 to 200 milliamps. Here you have a watt meter here as well that's attached to it, but it's, uh, the pulses are not close enough together to get a accurate uh, reading. So the other thing that I did is added a analog meter so we get a visual idea of the pulses, what they look like. And uh, as you can see, it's hitting uh, somewhere close to 150 milliamps but uh, that would change a little bit as you uh, reduce the speed and it's pretty well somewhere around 200 milliamps as you reduce the speed uh, when it's got enough time for the needle to really reach where it needs to be so um, this is the uh, better result and uh, right now I will uh, save that to the uh, hard uh, I've got a USB stick here so I'll save that image and post it on the uh, forum topic and I'm now going ahead and uh, saving that image and now it's working to save that image on the thumb drive and um, there we go. So what the next test I will do is load down the um, rotation and uh, see what happens with our uh, current which is the yellow trace here, uh, sorry the light blue trace and the yellow trace is our voltage. So um, right now we have about 107 RPM and uh, I will use my finger without sticking it in the spokes and just rub it here and you'll start hearing the rotor reducing. And now I'll give you a scope shot of what's what it looks like. So everything is pretty linear. It uh, seems to stay uh, very stable on the uh, current sensing resistor. You're not seeing a uh, increase uh, except for the width obviously but uh, it all comes up to the same amount of power basically uh, at the end of the day when we calculate all that. So now we have dropped our RPM. <coughs> Oops, sorry. To 84 RPMs, and I will again save that waveform. And now that's uh, being saved to the thumb drive, and post those two images there. So there you have it. That is the today's update and if you look at the analog meter here, pretty well the same at the uh, low uh, RPM. Uh, current is staying stable, it doesn't matter the load and that is the whole idea behind uh, this uh, bucking field uh, reluctance motor design. This is just a proof of concept and uh, I do have the parts uh, to build a large device and that will be the next thing that I'll be doing. Thanks for your interest. Bye now.